Hi, uh, my name is Alyssa Bachman, um, and this is my video for my senior project. Um, my project was focused on shoe customization. Um, so for anyone who's unaware, there's a huge um, kind of movement um, among people who are super into mainly sneakers, where you kind of just like take a basic pair of shoes, typically all white, but doesn't have to be. Um, and you take paint or some other kind of medium, sometimes markers, sometimes spray paint, depends on um, your personal preference, and you customize them to really anything you want. Um, so there's a huge movement of people making them for themselves, there's a huge movement of people making these shoes and selling them, which can be really profitable if you set up a, um, a functioning business plan. Um, Originally, before COVID-19, this was my plan. I had a really awesome off-campus advisor um, named Kate McGrady. She is um, the owner of Artsmiths, which is a company that um, sells uh, art from Pittsburgh artists, so like local artists. Um, and it's kind of just like this store that you can go into and buy specifically locally. Um, and her job mainly is working with artists to figure out how to price their art. Um, the best ways for them to sell it. So for me, would have been really, really helpful in forming a business plan. Um, but because of everything, this um, obviously could not happen the way that I intended, so I had to alter things a little bit. Um, so instead of doing a business plan and um, taking what would be called commissions for my work, um, I decided to focus more on the research aspect of just, you know, what can I learn about shoes and customizing and everything. Um, and also just, you know, making a couple pairs that I can wear for myself. Um, so, in terms of my blog posts, I talked about a lot of stuff. My very first one was about the history of Nike. Nike is pretty much the go-to brand for customizing, um, specifically the Air Force One, although definitely not the only shoe that people use. Um, I can show you, this is a really beat up version of the Air Force One without paint. Really old, totally beat up. This is my second pair. Um, and it's, it's dead, um, <laughs> but so that's what they look like normally, um, except just ignore all of the, how worn it is. Um, so that's the main pair I would say. I would say second to the Air Force One is probably Vans, specifically slip-on and, um, like the old school kind of high top Vans. Um, those are the ones that I've used. Um, so those are, I would say the top three, um, there are some other like Air Maxes and stuff um, by Nike and occasionally Adidas makes their way in there um, but the top three definitely have, are by Nike and Vans. Um, so I started with talking through the history of Nike, um, kind of how the Air Force came to be, how Jordan brand came to be, um, how the company itself came to be, so that's a really interesting kind of story if you feel like sitting down and reading that. Um, I think my next couple blog posts focused on customizing specifically, so like the materials you'll need depending on what kind of shoe you're painting on. So um, if you know anything about like Vans versus Nike, Vans tend to be made out of canvas, Nikes tend to be made out of some kind of leather. Um, so painting on the two is very different. And while you can use the same paint, you do need different mix-ins to kind of make the process easier. It's not absolutely necessary, but if you want like a better painting experience, I would recommend them. Um, so I talked about that. I talked about all kinds of other ways of customizing. So, you know, there are artists that use glitter. There are artists that use, like I said, spray paint. Um, uh, there are artists that use, you know, just various paint pens are an example. Just various different methods of creating their shoes. Um, and there are way more than you can imagine. I thought I knew most of them. The more I researched, the more I found. Embroidery is another one. People embroider shoes. Um, pretty neat. Not something that I can do, nor do I think I'll ever be able to do it, but who knows. Um, the designs are just really awesome, so I think that's a really awesome way to kind of learn about the industry itself. Um, let's see, I talked about a little bit about the history of customization. That falls into the category of um, Nike. Um, I laid out kind of a customizer starter kit if you want to customize the way that I do, which is with paint. Um, I have uh, blog post specifically about that. Um, yeah, there's a whole bunch of stuff. So I guess now I will get into showing you the pairs that I've made. Um, I have two pairs that I made during this project and then I also have two other pairs that I made before this project and then I have pictures 
of another two that I made for my cousins that I don't have anymore because I gave them to them, so I will try to insert those at some point. Um, okay, so I think this is the very first pair I ever made. This is my first pair of customs. This is a pair of slip-on vans. Um, you can see that is how they started. Um, and the uh, inspiration behind this pair was that I am from Pittsburgh and I really love my city. Um, and I think that Pittsburgh is just, I don't know, there's something special about it. We have a super cool skyline. Um, and so I kind of wanted to capture that in a pair of shoes. So I did a silhouette of the skyline. Um, I think anyone who knows Pittsburgh recognizes this design immediately. If you don't know Pittsburgh, you might not, but that isn't necessarily the target audience for a pair of shoes like this. Um, so this is really simple. This was, like I said, this is my first pair, so I wanted to go, you know, kind of striking but simple to make sure that it was something that I could accomplish, because I never painted on this type of canvas. Any painting I'd done had been on paper or, you know, on a on a stretched canvas, so this was, this was definitely getting into new territory for me. So that's why I kind of kept it simple with that pair. Um, yeah. Okay, the second pair I did um, is actually the top of my website. I wore them in my senior pictures. I think they're really awesome. Um, it's a really just simple color blocking. Um, the inspiration behind this one was actually, I kind of, I knew I wanted to make a pair of um, high top vans. I didn't know what I didn't know what I wanted to do, um, so I kind of just sat down and like looked at my paints and was like, okay, are any of them speaking to me or anything? Um, and I had this really awesome neon orange color that I that was just like screaming to me. I thought it was so cool, um, and so I did this neon orange paired with like this denim blue color that I had to mix, and then I ordered these replacement shoelaces that say shoelaces on them. Anyone who knows any of the off-white collaboration designs knows that um, kind of tag. So yeah, I thought they were really cool. Um, I don't know if they would necessarily pass for an off-white Vans collaboration, but I'm really happy with the way they came out. And I think they're a pair that surprisingly you can actually match with a lot. They just kind of have to be the center of an outfit. Um, so those are neat. The f so the next pair, um, is a pair that I actually made. This is the first pair I made during this project. Um, it is a pair of Air Force Ones. Um, and the inspiration behind these um, was that I have played guitar for as long as I can remember. I think I started when I was six, really started taking seri it seriously about five, six years ago. Um, but it's, it's become something that has really become an outlet for me. Um, I actually looked at multiple different ways of incorporating guitar into my project instead of shoes, um, but ultimately I ended up going on this route anyway, but I wanted to make a pair of shoes that represented my love for music and my love for guitar. So I thought the best way to do this after brainstorming for a while um, was to take inspiration from the guitar pick that I have used um, pretty much my entire length of playing. So. I have used the Tortex, um, it's the yellow pick, the 073 millimeter for as long as I can remember, and it's just this really, it's, they have, it has this really awesome kind of logo, iconic design, I think. Um, so this is what I came up with. This right here, you can look, this is the actual pick. So that is the Tortex logo, um, and I transferred it onto the shoe. So it's got some black and yellow color blocking, um, and then I did a lace replacement as well as an aglet replacement. So that silver, I had to glue these pieces on, um, and I also took the um, the Air Force One tag from the original uh, pair of laces and put it on these because I thought it's kind of something really special about the shoe that I wanted to keep. Um, my favorite part is definitely the actual guitar pick that I attached. Um, both shoes have it. Um, I think it's just a really fun, I don't know, way to make sense of the design for people who aren't aware of what Tortex is. Like I said, I've used this pick for, <clears throat> I think, uh, going on 12, 13 years now, and even my dad was like, I don't know what Tortex is, and I was like, you do. But, <laughs> so I added that um, so that people can kind of understand the point of the design. Um, yeah, so I was really happy with how these came out. I think they look really clean. I think they're just, they kind of speak for themselves. They're really stunning. So, those are really awesome. And then the final design, which I think is probably the pair that I am most proud of, um, 
is a pair, it's another pair of slip-on vans. Um, and this one is inspired by my dog. Um, so my dog is a rescue pit bull. Um, she is just the best. I love her so much. We rescued her about three and a half, three years ago. Um, and she just means the world to me. So I wanted to make a pair that kind of told her story a little bit. Um, so I made this pair. Anyone in the um, rescue community knows that adopt, don't shop is kind of our motto. So, you know, support, um, you know, rescuing instead of adopting from puppy mills just to make sure, you know, we're being ethical about everything. So I put the adopt, don't shop on the right shoe. And then I painted a posterized portrait of my dog on the left. Um, these shoes took forever, um, but I'm really, really happy with how they came out. I don't know, it's going to take me a minute to build up the courage to wear them because of how long they took, um, but I think the end result is really beautiful and I, I definitely think I was, I challenged myself a little bit on this one, but they came out super sweet. Um, and then on the back too, I have these little paw prints because, you know, puppy dogs. So yeah, so that's the final pair. I was going to make another one, but I kind of ran short on time um, when I initially laid out the schedule. I did not anticipate painting my dog on a shoe. so. Went a little bit overboard there, but it's okay. Um, so yeah, that is my senior project. Um, hopefully my blog kind of lays everything out if you're interested in um, trying this out. This is, I think, just a super fun art form. It's a really great way to, you know, get a pair of shoes that you think represents you, but also have a little fun. Um, I think the initial task of customizing is really daunting because, you know, you are talking about a canvas that costs anywhere from, like, $55 to 100 bucks, so the idea of messing up can be scary, but I promise if you take your time, if you plan things out, um, stay within your comfort zone unless you're willing to challenge yourself, which then totally cool, um, but I would say for your first pair, first couple pairs, stay within your comfort zone, do things that you think you, you know, you're confident about, because the more confident you are about the design, the better it's going to come out, um, but yeah, I recommend everyone to try this, I think it's a really fun way. Um, to kind of express yourself, especially now that shoes and clothes and everything have become so commercialized and such, so much, you know, mass production and everything, it'd be really hard to make sure that your outfit represents you. So I think this is a really cool way to ensure that you are doing that. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.